looks like we are back in the school. Yep. Regular old Midwich. I hear a... A church bell, maybe. Who's ringing the bell? Well, there's a church right over there, so why don't we go take a look? And as always, we're going to save smart, save often. Okay, so church bells. Well, let's just get out of the school. You know, these doors weren't locked when we came in. And while we're at it, I'm going to switch back to using the handgun. Reload it while we're at it. Actually, we're doing real good on handgun bullets. We're okay on shells. Well, roads tore out over here. And the roads tore out over here. So we are going to have to find another way to get to where we want to go. This is not the same backyard we were in earlier. Use the K Gordon key. Well, that means we're probably on the right track for using the keys that we have. There you go, grab the ammo. And some more ammo. Ah, and there's a save point. We just saved, so I don't think we need to save again. Nope, we're not getting in there. No goodies in the corner. <sighs> More ripped up road. Okay, not going that way. We'll have to go this way. Just ignore the Pteranodon, and we'll ignore you. It's more afraid of you than you are of it. After all, you're the one with the gun. Let's go up this way. Cut through the alley and then we'll make a right turn. Serpentine, serpentine. Ooh. Stop trying to bite me. Harry, just please pick up the bullets. Thank you, sir. 
Okay, run past the, uh, the other bird. Or lizard. Well, this sure looks like a church. But we're not going to go in just yet. Super Tuesday! Six cents? Is that what it says? Six cents? Well, formula hell. And we are in the gas station. And we can only get into the gas station this time. Some oil cans. We're only able to get into the gas station because we're playing New Game Plus. Well, pretty much New Game Plus. And we are able to get that optional item right there, that gas can. That gas can will be useful for a goodie coming up just a little later. And hiding in the back. Handgun bullets and shotgun shells. What am I doing on help? We're okay. Uh-oh. Avoid the door. Now we're going to go into the church, see who is ringing those bells. Jesus, were you ringing the bells? No, it was probably this weird lady. Were you ringing that bell? I've been expecting you. It was foretold by Gyromancy. I love that line, Gyromancy. What are you talking about? I knew you'd come. You want the girl. To put it simply, right? Gyromancy is sort of like the fortune girl? telling through uh You're talking about Cheryl. through the motion of objects. I see everything. You know something? Tell me. Stay back. Nothing is to be gained from floundering about at random. You must follow the path. The path of the hermit concealed by Flowros. What? What are you talking about? Here, the Flowros, a cage of peace. It can break through the walls of darkness and counteract the wrath of the underworld. These will help you. Make haste to the hospital before it's too late. Wait, don't go yet. Nope, Perry, she's just gonna she's just gonna wander off. She set her peace. She wants us to go to the hospital. There's the Flaros. She calls it a cage of peace. That might be very important at some point. The drawbridge key. Hmm. Oh, looks like we're going to find a drawbridge. Grab that health drink. And 
And there's another save point, but I don't think we're going to use it. But can I look at that note over there? Nope. Now, I just need to get my bearings for a second. Okay. There's the drawbridge. Can I zoom in? Yeah. Oh, outright chainsaws. Let's go take a look at that. That sounds like fun. Looky, looky. Cut rate chainsaws. There's a chainsaw. There's no gasoline. Can't use it. Well. Looky what we have a big tank of. Fuel for chainsaws and rock drills. Well, there happens to be a chainsaw right here in front of us. And, you know, you don't go looking a gift horse in the mouth. Now we have the chainsaw. A nice overhead swing here. Nice side swipe. Now we don't have to worry about the chainsaw running out of fuel. And I probably won't be using it too much. Especially against faster enemies like dogs and those pterodactyls. But if you remember, the gas tank said fuel for chainsaws and rock drills. And there's a reason it said chainsaws and rock drills. And I'm going to show you why it said that in a moment. Right now, we're going to start running towards the drawbridge over here. So we're going to take a look down here, and I see a first aid kit. And some more shells. We like those. Here's a little drawbridge house. And looky looky what we have here in the corner. There's a rock drill. There's no gasoline. Can't use it. So we had our choice. We can either go with the chainsaw or we can go with the rock drill. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, there's no real difference. They're both very strong weapons. And we only had enough gasoline to pick one. But as you go through the game, you'll have chances to get both of them. And we have the map of the shopping district now. So that's the next area of Silent Hill we're going to be going to. There's a keyhole in the control panel. Well, we happen to have a key. I'm going to take a little sip of my drink here. And you might, just might be able to see through the fog 
the bridge slowly going down. down here? Yeah, there are. We'll take whatever we can get our hands on. So we're over here in the shopping district of Silent Hill. And right across from us is the police station. Although we want to go to the hospital, we are going to take a quick stop at the police station, though. And I just saw in the mist one of our next enemies. These horrible ape men. I call them ape men just because, well, look at them. They also kind of jump on you like that and start chewing on you. These guys can be a problem. We're not going to deal with them. How's my health? Just a little banged up. Now the big reasons we want to drop into the police station are to pick up all these little items. There are a bunch of goodies worth grabbing while we're here. there. There's something on it. Production only available in selected areas of Silent Hill. Raw material is White Claudia, a plant particular to the region. Manufactured here. Dealer equals manufacturer? Hmm. Looks like the police were looking into something unusual. Perhaps drug trafficking. There's a memo on the desk. Coroner Seals called. Officer Gucci is unlikely to be murdered. He apparently died naturally. But medical records show Officer Gucci had no prior symptoms of heart disease. Hmm. Cops dying of... Natural, but unlikely causes. Alright, running time. I keep away from the apes. Hospital. The hospital had guard dogs. But we should be safe inside. Should be. Famous last words. What was that? Sound like somebody was firing a gun. Pterodactyl monsters. And who is this?
Hold it. <gasps> Jeez, Harry. Stop. Don't shoot. Wait. I'm not here to fight. My name is Harry Mason. I'm in town on vacation. Thank God. Another human being. Do you work here? I'm Dr. Michael Kaufman. I work at this hospital. So maybe you can tell me what's going on. I really can't say. I was taking a nap in the staff room. When I woke up, it was like this. I kind of dig this music. Everyone seems sounds to like something out of one of the uh, um, sounds it's like something out of one of these Ravenloft games. Something's gone seriously wrong. Did you see those monsters? Have you ever seen such aberrations? Ever even heard of such things? You and I both know creatures like that don't exist. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl anywhere? I'm looking for my daughter. She's only seven. Short, black hair. She's missing. I'm sorry. But with all those monsters around, I highly doubt that she's... <sighs> sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you. Your wife, she's here with you. She died four years ago. Now it's just me and my daughter. I see. I'm sorry. Well, I'd better be going. I can't just sit around here doing nothing. So long. Good luck out there. So that was Dr. Kaufman. He's the next person that we've met in Silent Hill so far. And he seems just as confused as us to what's going on. Maybe we'll get a chance to interact with him a little more later. Walking around a hospital with a chainsaw. Nothing unusual about that. There's a newspaper. This article's been clipped out. I guess we'll never know what it says. Locks jammed. All right, give me a second. I'll figure out where I'm going. somewhere. I'm just going to take your first aid kit. This is a hospital after all. And I'm going to take your map. And looking at this map, it appears that Almechia Hospital has three floors. Get out of those corners. Alright. Door number one is locked. Well, jammed. So is door number two. But door number three we have... Looks like a lounge. Oh, and there is a basement. Have to check that out too. Phone's out. 
Can't get a dial tone. So what you're telling me is the phone's dead. And there's the basement key. Just in time for us to find the map, we have the basement key. Whiteboard with nothing special on it. Nothing unusual. Hospital kitchen. Maybe we can find a sandwich. Plastic bottle. Yeah, why not? Could use a water bottle. Maybe find a drink. And we did find a drink. Shelves are all messed up. Who did this? Oh, what happened back here? Books are scattered around the desk. Nothing else special here. A glass vial lies shattered. It's not just broken, it looks smashed on purpose. Well, that vial looks like it's still got a little bit of something left in it. Let's see. Yep, the remaining liquid is emptied into the plastic bottle. Now, what do we have here? Yeah, it's full of some sort of unknown liquid. But we'll hang on to it. Maybe we'll find out what we can use it for. Oh boy. Going in the basement. Surely this is a fine idea. And it's pitch black down here. So you guys probably can't see anything. But I can hear the telltale signs of ugly roaches. Oh, almost got me. Okay, you did get me. I'll give you that. Lock is jammed. Also jammed. Everything's jammed. Why do we even bother coming down here? This is why we came down here. The in-house generator powers elevators, ICUs, and operating rooms only. Well, we might as well power them up. Sounds less like a generator coming on, more like a horrible beast just yelling at us. Okay, three floors. Well, we were already on the first floor. Let's try the second. Nope. No luck. Let's try the third floor. Maybe we'll go back to the first floor and look around a little more, see if maybe we forgot something. Wait a second. There wasn't a fourth floor before, was there? I don't know. 